What is up everybody, my name is Steven, and this is going to be a guide on the various currencies found in the mobile game Destiny Child. Uh, first of all, I want to make sure that everybody knows that this is for the global version. If you are on the Japanese or Korean version, some of this information may be different, so keep that in mind. So the first type of currency we're going to be talking about is gold. Gold is used for absolutely everything. Pretty much everything that you do in the game is going to cost at least some gold. You're going to be using it for uncapping, you're going to be using it for evolution, you're going to be using it for upgrading armor, upgrading weapons, uh, just about everything that you do is going to require a little bit of a gold sacrifice. Uh, you can also summon using gold, but doing this too much will run you out of gold, so try to resist the temptation. That said, gold summon can get you 5 star units, so it might be worth it to do it every once in a while, just not too much. The primary way of getting gold is going to be through the gold dungeon that you can do every day. Uh, if you do the hardest version, then you will get about 300k, 300,000 each, uh, each day from your three entries. You can pay crystals to reset this and do it three more times, but it's not really worth it. You can also get about 300,000 more from uh, the hard underground, so make sure that once you are able to, then you do this every day. Moving on, next we will talk about Onyx. Onyx is used for leveling skills up, and Onyx is also used for Awakening. Both of these are very important, and both of these will make your childs much, much stronger. The way you obtain more Onyx is by destroying uh, childs that you don't need anymore. So the way you do that is by going to any uh, child's page, go to Awaken, and click Extract Onyx at the bottom of the screen. There you can select uh, units that you don't need anymore, And then for a bit of gold, you can turn those units into onyx. Next up, we're going to talk about crystals. Crystals are the main premium currency in the game. They are what you use to uh, summon from the banners. And they're used in various other places around the game. Um, during raids, you will need them to reset the shop. You'll need about 300 for each reset, so make sure you have enough for that at all times. Uh, you can use them to refill your stamina, and like I said earlier, you can use them to reset your event dungeons as well. The primary way of getting more crystals is through your daily missions. Make sure you do all of Lisa's daily tasks every day, and make sure you do, at, at the minimum, do five of them so that you get the complete bonus. In addition to that, uh, you can also put two-star units into your exploration, and after 20 hours worth of exploration, they will be max level. And for every one of these units that you max out, you will receive 20 crystals in your mailbox. Keep filling up your exploration with extra 2-star units, and then once you max them out, turn them into onyx. Next up, we'll talk about blood gems. Currently, the only way to get blood gems is through that complete bonus in Lisa's tasks, and you will only get one, so that will be one per day. The only other way to get them is by buying them with money. And what you do with those is you spend them at the Scarlet Collection store. Uh, the main way you want to spend them is on a attribute child summon ticket. It will give you a 5 star of a specific attribute, which is quite valuable. Otherwise, the 5 star evolution material is also a good buy, although you might just want to hang on to them for now, as as you can see, there are going to be more items added to this store. Next up, we'll talk about Rumble Coins. These are the coins that you get for playing in PvP, and the only place to spend them is at the Rumble Shop. 
The only things that are really worth a price that's in here are the evolution materials. The uh, equipment is all either useless or it's way overpriced. Next up we'll talk about uh, friend points. Friend points only have one use, and that is the friend coin summon. Uh, you'll go in here, at the last tab on the summon page, you'll click the little button, and it'll spit something out. There is no reason to hoard these, so go ahead and spam to your heart's content. The way you get these is from friends using your rep monster and by your friends sending you the points each day. The final currency that we will talk about is the Ragna coins. These are the coins that you get for participating in uh, raids. So whenever a boss is defeated, go ahead and click on the victory. And you will get coins depending on how well you do. These are used in the raid shop where you will use them to buy the limited child or you will use them to buy treasure chests, summon tickets, etc. At the end of the raid they are just converted into gold so make sure that you spend them before the raid ends. And that's all of the currencies currently in the global version of Destiny Child. Hopefully this guide helps anybody out there who is brand new to the game and is wondering what all this stuff on the screen is. Uh, if it did then leave a comment and if you have any questions, then go ahead and leave a comment and I'll try to answer them to my, the best of my abilities. Give me a like if this helped you, and subscribe because I do plan on making more Destiny Child videos. Uh, thank you for watching.